everyone, it's Jen. Welcome back to Yarn Purpose. Today, let's have another coffee ketchup. Hey everyone, welcome back to Yarn Purpose. I'm back today with another coffee ketchup episode. This is episode two. I think I'm gonna do these around once a month, just sort of give you the update of what I'm working on, what I have coming up, and you and me can enjoy some coffee. I know I said in my last episode that I only really drink cold coffee for life, um, but my husband and I went out this morning for coffee, so I have this one. It's like called a, what's it called? A sweet honeybee latte, and it has like honey and lavender in it. Oh, so good. Anyway, uh, you know, maybe you don't care about my coffee so much, but let's uh, get into the knitting. So, um, before I start talking about what I'm working on, I will tell you about what I have finished. So I don't have them here because I gave them as a Christmas gift, but I did finally finish the uh, socks that I had been working on for my nephew. I knit them out of the Knit Picks Felici Sport Yarn, my beloved Knit Picks Felici Sport Yarn that is currently discontinued and that I hope that they will bring back because it was my favorite of all the Felici yarn. I just love that it was a little bit thicker for socks. Anyway, um, my nephew had been asking me for socks for a long time and so I did finally um, finish those. So I don't have them here, but I will insert a picture for you. So um, I gave them to him on Christmas. Uh, let's be real, I finished them on Christmas Eve. Um, now I have big feet. I wear a US size 11 women's shoe. So I have big feet. I am used to knitting big socks. Um, but I had not, I'm pretty sure this was the first pair of men's socks that I had knit. And he's like a US men's 10 and a half, I think. Um, so that was just a lot of knitting on the foot. <laughs> So um, it just took a little bit longer than I expected, but I did finish up that toe on Christmas Eve and was able to have them wrapped in under the tree for him on Christmas morning. So that was great. Um, and then I have started something new. Um, I probably shouldn't have started something new. I probably should be finishing my Wonder Woman shawl or like doing work knitting, but sometimes you just got to start a project even when you don't have time, you know? The knitworthy people are in your life. They need the projects. Um, so I have started a cowlette pattern. It's actually um, my Gallica cowlette pattern. Um, so you start it by knitting a triangle shawl, basically, and then you join it in the round to make it into a cowl. So um, it's not looking like much right now, um, but here is the yarn. It is, I have the label here so I wouldn't forget. It is the Knit Circus Trampoline Yarn, a 100% USA Superwash Merino. This particular skein is 440 yards for 100 grams, and the color is shades of gray. So it kind of goes from uh, this like light, really light, almost white, but it is light gray on the inside to like almost black on the outside. So I chose this particular yarn for this project. I'm making this for one of my friends, her 40th birthday is coming up. She is extremely knitworthy, so I really wanted to make her something. Um, she moved away a couple years ago and she's coming back for her birthday. Um, so I'm hoping that I'll have this done in time for her. We'll see, <laughs> might be shipping it uh, <laughs> off to her later. Um, but she really loves the Chicago White Sox. That's like her A number one sports team for life. Um, and so I really liked this colorway because I felt like it was Chicago White Sox colors without just being like black and white or just like black, white, gray or something like that. Like it's like subtly Chicago White Sox. So anyway, that's the Knit Circus Yarn Shades of Gray. Um, so that's sort of like the only personal knitting I've been like not work knitting I've been working on. I mean, it is still my own pattern, but um, yeah, the Wonder Woman shawl, I think, you know, I've said this before. I will finish that Wonder Woman shawl. I think that the shawl, the finished object is awesome. I also think that the pattern is so clever. Um, so it's just super fun to knit. But when knitting is your full-time job, sometimes you can't always, you can't always knit what you want. Sometimes you gotta, you gotta knit for work, you know? So the Wonder Woman shawl uh, will get done in 2018. Um, but for right now, it's sitting in the pile of unfinished things. 
Um, but anyway, so let's get into sort of what I have planned coming up. So um, if you're a member of my Patreon page, you've already seen some of this. Um, but in 2018, as far as my business goes, I am going to focus a little bit more on the self-published side of things. I, um, I mean, I do self-publish quite a bit, um, even between like writing my books and doing things for like yarn companies and stuff. But um, I really want to just get a little bit more focused on the self-publishing. I just think it'll be kind of fun to have a year where I kind of have more control over everything. I mean, um, again, I talked about this some on my Patreon page, but when um, you're writing like a book, like, you know, my Sock Yarn Shawls book, or I just finished up um, another one, um, you know, you do give up some of that control when you work with an indep like with a third party, like with a um, pu book publisher. So I'm looking forward just sort of to having like that own control. I have like a little bit of my own schedule, you know, with the self-published designs. Um, and you know, you just get more control over the process. So I'm really excited to sort of take 2018 and do that. Uh, so anyway, I'm going to just show you sort of like some of the stuff that I have planned. I have some yarn set aside already. Um, so the first thing that I have is I'm going to be doing a shawl design for Dunroving yarn. Um, I've done a lot of designs using their yarn. Um, they're really great to work with. Um, if you're a designer, like definitely get in contact with them. They're awesome. Um, but, um, so I have these two skeins of yarn here and it's sort of like this yellow and gray. And then this one's sort of like shades of gray. I'll tell you the colors. Um, this gray one is Timberwolf and this one is Retro. Um, they are the Dunroving, uh, Frolicking Feet sock yarn. So, um, it's fingering weight yarn and these are 480 yards for four ounces, 100% domestic superwash merino. So I'm gonna put these two together in some sort of half pie slash crescent shawl. Um, I haven't fully decided yet, um, but this will most likely be my first self-published design of 2018. Um, so I'll be starting on this really soon. I'm really excited. Um, I have, it's been a, it's been a minute since I've done um, a shawl for done roving. So I'm really excited about this one to get started with that. Um, and I don't do a ton of like two colored shawls. Like for the most part, I either like something like this, I stick with like a gradient yarn or just use a solid color yarn. So I'm kind of excited because this will be a little bit different from what I normally do. Um, and then the next thing that I'm working on, I have my yarn over here, is that I'm going to do another um, self published ebook. So I did my Nifty Gifty 2 ebook sort of in the fall slash late fall, early winter, sort of like October to early December. Um, this shawl here is part of that. Um, so I'm going to do another ebook in the spring. Um, it's going to be an ebook of four shawls, name to be determined and shawls to be determined. But um, I have the yarn here, so I thought I'd share it with you today. Um, so the first thing, and I don't know what order these will all come out, but the patterns will be out like March, April, um, is another Knit Circus yarn. Obviously, I'm a fan. Um, and this is the Knit Circus Parasol, which is 30% mulberry silk, 70% U.S. merino. And this one is 660 yards for 150 grams. So it is a like much bigger ball than that one that I'm knitting the cowlette out of. The colorway is Mistress of Myself. So it's kind of blue to purple. Um, this one I got at Stitches Midwest. Um in August. So I'm really excited to get this one out of the stash and use it. Um, not sure. I'm not really sure yet what most of these are going to become. Um, I sort of just sort of picked my color palette. So that's about the stage I'm in right now, but I'm excited to use this one. I obviously, I love the gradient yarns and I love Knit Circus so much. Um, the next one, this one's been in my stash for a little while. Um, I have these two skeins here and it's from Gail's Art. And I got to know Gail a little bit this past year at TNNA. She was helping my friend Barbara Benson, who's Tump Duck here on YouTube. You should follow her. Oh, no, she's watched Barbara Knit, I think, here on YouTube. Go follow her. I'll leave a link below. Um, anyway, Gail was working at Barbara's booth, so I got to know Gail a little bit. Um, but I had bought this yarn actually at Wisconsin Sheep and Wool probably like two or three years ago when I went. Um, and it's just been kind of marinating in the stash, sort of waiting for the perfect time to be used. And so I've decided for my spring shawl ebook, it was time. So this is MYS 622, which is 60% superwash merino, 
20% yak and 20% silk. It is 400 yards for 100 grams. So I have two, so I have 800 yards total. And the colorway on this is Bluebird. So I'm really loving this. It almost like, it might be kind of hard to see, but it almost just has like, it's blue, but I don't know if it's because of the yak. It almost has like a little bit of like brown tint to it. It's like, it's very muted, but it's so pretty. So I'm really excited about that one. Then I have some yarn that I'm going to use that I actually just bought at Rhinebeck um, this past October. So you have maybe seen this yarn before in my Rhinebeck haul. Well, if you've watched it, you've seen it. Um, but I've decided I'm going to use them now in the spring for my ebook. So the first one is this Neighborhood Fiber Co. It is the Capital Luxury Sport, which is 70% merino wool, 20% cashmere, 10% nylon. 360 yards for four ounces and the color weight on this is Rosemont. So it's a sport weight yarn and I have two of these. Um, I semi have an idea for this, but I don't know. Sometimes once I like I have an idea in my head once I start working on it, you know, things always change. The fun of designing. Um, and then the last thing I have, um, which again is a little bit of a departure for me, is that I have these O-Wool skeins that I also bought at Rhinebeck this past year. So these are the O-Wool O-Wash Fingering Yarn, 100% machine washable, certified organic merino. Each of these skeins is 428 yards and 100 grams. So I have two of these, which is the Pearly Muscle colorway. It's like this lovely, like light beige-ish brown. Ugh very pretty. And then I have this one, which is the Appalachian Stone. So this is kind of like a blue gray, sort of dark blue gray. And then I have this mustard one, which is called Mustard Seed. Um, so my plan is to sort of jump a little bit <laughs> in the bandwagon of striped shawls and do some kind of striped shawl. Um, I kind of, again, in my head have an idea, but um, I haven't written out the pattern or anything for it yet. Um, so yeah, so that's sort of for the next couple of months as far as the self-published designs go. That's sort of what I am working on. Um, other than that, I'm just really excited for 2018. I'm hoping that by focusing a little bit more on the self-publishing schedule um, versus like working on another book or something like that, that I'll have like a little more time um, to do like some personal knitting and crochet, um, you know, maybe get back a little bit more into the cross stitch um, and just kind of do that kind of stuff. So anyway, that's sort of it for me for today. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and um, I'll leave links to everything, all the yarn and patterns and stuff I talked about. I'll leave links to everything below. And uh, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you really, really like that video, this video, then go ahead and hit subscribe. Hope everybody has a great day and I will talk to you again in my next video. Bye.